Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Hope everyone is having a very healthy and happy holiday season. It's about that time of year where we can put 2023 to bed and look forward to a really fun and exciting 2024 calendar year. And as always, hoping for everyone to have an awesome 2024. Today's video is going to break down the CA Corvette Marketplace, provide a year-end update on the pricing for the CA Corvettes and the C8 Z06. These videos have done very well on the channel over the last couple of months. I've been sounding the alarms and ringing the bells to try to spread the word that the C8 Corvette Stingray is now a well below MSRP car. As you will see in today's video, C8 Z06 markups are coming down very quickly, so that is also going to be a car that I think will be near to MSRP very soon. And so in today's video, we are going to break down some examples, what you can do if you're in the marketplace for a C8 Corvette, what are some good resources to get great deals on C8 Corvettes, particularly 2024 C8 Corvettes. And we will recap and highlight some of the reasons on why the market has corrected itself and then some so quickly as it has. As always, if you are stopping by for the first time, leave a comment in the comment section below on your thoughts of today's video and today's information. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to take part in my automotive journey or follow along with these updates as I make them periodically. And just like that, without wasting any more time, let's dive right into today's video. I think one of the best resources for a C8 Corvette at or below MSRP is the Facebook group C8 Corvettes at or below MSRP. As the name describes, I've shared this group on the channel multiple times in the past. I will do so in the future. As my videos age, YouTube doesn't promote them as much, so newer Corvette enthusiasts don't really know that these cars are now below MSRP or easily buyable at below MSRP if you're searching in the right places. And just to be clear, all the below MSRP cars that I have seen are dealer stock cars or cars that are in transit. Most dealers are still charging MSRP for your particular order specified to how you want to build it. But I suspect as demand dies down, and we'll cover that later in the video, that is subject to change as well. So if you're in the marketplace and looking for a lead for a CA Corvette below MSRP, definitely check out the Facebook group that I've linked in the description below. I'm not affiliated to them, but I do enjoy watching them share really credible leads on tracing down CA Corvettes. Some examples of recent leads that they've presented in the Facebook group. Here's a 2024 C8 Corvette 3LT for $5,000 below MSRP. This is a fully loaded car with just about every option with a very high window sticker coming in at about $102,000 and it's being marked down to $97,000 and change. And believe me when I'm telling you this, there is wiggle room even in this price. With $5,000 below MSRP, the dealer still has probably about $5,000 of playroom on this car. So if they are eager to move it, which I will cover later in the video why dealers are eager to move cars, this is a great place to negotiate down even more than the discounts that are shown. For the Z06 buyers, over the last couple of weeks, the Z06 market has corrected significantly. Higher spec cars are coming up for rare low markups. Let me be clear, I don't think the Z06 is currently an MSRP car. I have seen a couple of one-off C8 Z06s being listed for MSRP, but they go very quick, so you have to be pretty much sitting and ready to pull the trigger if one comes across. But I have seen several being posted in the last week between $5,000 and $10,000 below MSRP. Here's a dealer that had two 3LZ cars available for $6,000 below MSRP, which I am sure they are eager enough to move that you could have negotiated that down by a couple thousand dollars. Another example from that Facebook group of $5,000 over MSRP for a 2024 2LZ car. This is a great deal, I think which is a steep reduction from the $25,000, dollars $50,000 or more of markup that we were seeing just a couple of months ago. A couple more C8 Stingrays, here's a 2024 available for almost $5,000 below MSRP. I have seen Facebook posts around this car indicate that people have contacted the dealer, and this is in fact a legit price to roll off the lot with this car for 5 below sticker. As many of you car enthusiasts know, every price for a car is negotiable. Some dealers may don't want to budge, but other dealers are trying to move cars at the end of the calendar year or at the start of the new calendar year. Here's a modestly equipped 2LZ Z06 in the new Seawolf gray color with a $125,000 MSRP available for $10,000 markup, and I have no doubt that this can be negotiated down which I personally would wait a couple months for these Z06s to start showing up at MSRP, but this just highlights that even the Z06s have come down in this market correction. 
And last example for today's video, Matt Beaver of Whitmore Chevrolet, very well known in the Corvette community, a staple of Street Speed 717's channel, had multiple C8 leftover 23s on the lot for thousands of dollars below MSRP, particularly this high spec option one was available for a whopping $7,000 off MSRP. Again, not for ordered cars, but for inventory left over, dealers are eager to move 2023 cars. So why is this happening? There's a couple big reasons. One is definitely supply. Supply is now saturated. There are over 100,000, I think 125,000 C8 Corvettes built from 2020 to now. And that plays a part in pricing as the buyer market and the demand shrinks, and I'll cover that in a second, supply is now flooding the market to a point where there aren't enough buyers, so dealers are getting desperate and eager to move these cars. And the C8 Corvette always being a mass-produced vehicle, this was inevitable. We are seeing demand drop off as well. As you can see from this infographic here, income levels are starting to come down across the U.S. as the economy is correcting. I don't want to make a political statement here. But it's no secret that people are hurting out there, some more than others, and so with the decline in the average household income factored in with the cost increase, the Seat Corvette is now $10,000 more than it was when it launched in 2020. And with the rise in the graphic you can see here in the interest rates, which has been exponential over the last 12 months or so, all of this culminates to a general economic decline where A, the average buyer is making less money, is paying more for the product, and the carrying cost of interest is higher. It doesn't make it very feasible for a certain demographic of the buyer market for the C8 Corvette to be able to obtain the C8 Corvette right now. And so this has contributed to a major drop off in demand and couple that with the fact that most people have gotten C8 Corvettes and are either actively enjoying it or have enjoyed it and have moved on. And so bottom line, a seismic shift in the supply and demand ratio is contributing probably the largest to the decline in C8 Corvette prices. And as I mentioned earlier, dealers have an incentive to move these cars because the ADS system, the average daily supply, is what dictates how much cars they're going to get in future years or in future allocation cycles. And so if dealers are actively sitting on these cars for a long period of time, their average is naturally higher, so they're eager to move cars so they can get more cars in the future. And if I'm being honest, I don't know how accurate that advertised ADS system is. I think it's a little hogwash because I've seen price gouging dealers sitting on cars for endless periods of time, specifically Z06s for near $50,000 over sticker, and they've been getting more car after more car after more car, and that one small dealer that sold one at MSRP hasn't gotten a second car. So I don't know how much the ADS system really plays a factor into it, but that is one advertised thing from General Motors on how they distribute these cars. And so the intent of the video, as I mentioned, is that these videos kind of drop off after a couple of weeks, and if there's new buyers in the Corvette marketplace that don't get promoted older videos that I have on the channel highlighting that these cars are available for well below MSRP, providing periodic updates on available leads as well as resources as well as the current market conditions just helps somebody find a better deal on a car and avoid getting price gouged by bad dealerships. So that's everything for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And again, wishing everybody a very happy and healthy 2024 on the horizon. I'm really excited about all the things that are coming to the channel. And if you want to follow along in the journey, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. And as always, until the very next video, I look forward to seeing all of you in the comment section below.